Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step method on how to bridge your coins from Ethereum blockchain to Pulse Chain Network or from Pulse Chain Network to Ethereum blockchain. It's very easy to do. So for us to use the Pulse Chain Bridge, we need to go over to our wallet. In this video, I'm going to be making use of the MetaMask wallet. This is similar to Trust Wallet or any other wallet you are going to be using. As long as the wallet has a DAP browser, you are good to go. Once you're on MetaMask, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your MetaMask already has Pulse Chain added to it. So for you to do that, you click on the menu at the top left. Once you click on the menu, you click on settings, then you click on networks and you click on add network at the bottom. Once you click on add network, you click on custom network by the top right corner. Once you do that, you go over to postchain.com. Once you go over to postchain.com, just scroll up. You are going to see details for postchain network. So with these details, you can easily add postchain network to your MetaMask wallet or any other wallet you are using. So you just fill in this information accurately so in this case the network name is post chain so you fill in these details the rpc url is this the chain id is 369 so the symbol is pls so just take your time and every information you need is on this website and also this information is going to be on the description of this video so you copy the block explorer of this blockchain and you fill it in and that is how simple it is so the next thing you need to do is you click on add which is the blue button at the bottom and once you click on add automatically this network is going to be added to your wallet and that's how simple it is after adding post chain to your wallet you need to make sure you have plx for gas fee or you have some ethereum for gas fee in my case i have only plx so i'm going to be swapping some of my plx to ethereum to enable me have gas fees when i bridge to ethereum blockchain so to do that i'll click on the browser which is at the bottom right then i'll click on the search or type url then i'll put in the pulse x website which is app.pulsex.com so pulse x is basically the decentralized exchange of pulse chain that enables you to swap from one token to another token so i will quickly swap my, some of my pls to ethereum so i'll click on plsx then select ethereum so i'll make sure i select weth which is ethereum from ethereum i'll click on it and swap some of my tokens so i could swap 120,000. sorry about that i'll swap 120,000 plx to ethereum so after doing that, I'll click on swap, then confirm. I wait for confirmation. You should know how to use PostX already. If you don't know how to use PostX, make sure you click the link at the description of this video to see my exact tutorial on how to use PostX. So I'll wait patiently for my transaction to be processed. Now, I had to swap my PLX to Ethereum because I'll be needing Ethereum for some gas fee to bridge back to PLX when I bridge over to Ethereum blockchain. Now, after bridging, I can check my wallet. So if I check my wallet, my Ethereum is not showing here. So I have to import this token. So for me to import this, I can easily get the contract address of this Ethereum. So I'll click on this. Then view it on the block explorer. I wait patiently for it to load up. It can actually take some time. I think uh, the browser feature on MetaMask is a bit dull. So I will go up and make sure I click on WETH. Once I click on it, just the way you are looking at it this way, because I need the contract address. So this is basically another easy way to teach you how to get contract address of any token you are swapping or you are bridging on the post chain. Okay, so once you check your transaction history, view that transaction history on the block explorer and click on the token. So just like I clicked on the token and you can see at the top here, I can see contract. So I will quickly select this contract. Okay, remember, do not copy link address just select the text okay so i'll select the contract then i'll go over to my wallet if i go over to my wallet and i'll click on import tokens 
and paste the contract address so that I can import the Ethereum on the post chain because the Ethereum I swapped is the Ethereum on the post chain, not the Ethereum on the Ethereum blockchain. So once I import this token, I wait patiently for my Ethereum to appear. Good, you can see I have 0 0.0169 Ethereum, which is Ethereum on the Pulse Chain. So right now we need to navigate to Pulse Chain Bridge. So to move over to Pulse Chain Bridge, we need to go over to Pulse Chain websites. So which is this? Then we'll come over here. You see where it says check out the brand new Explorer Bridge. Then I'll click and hold this bridge to copy the link address. Then I copy the link address. Now for this link for exact bridge of post chain check the description of this video i'm going to leave this link at that description also you can actually come to postchain.com to copy the link to the bridge but make sure you get the link from this postchain.com or from the description of this video to avoid getting scammed by using fake website okay so we'll go over to our wallet again this time around we'll go to the browser section so once we're on the browser section, I'm going to edit this, paste the link I copied, and load that link so that it's going to take us directly to post chain bridge. We'll wait patiently. My network is a bit dull. And I'm sorry about that. Boom, we are on the post chain bridge. So it's still loading up. And after loading, this is the bridge. Okay, it's very simple and user friendly. It's not confusing. So, this is basic bridge. Okay, this is the way bridge works on blockchains. So, with bridges, you can easily move coins from one blockchain to another blockchain. Now, the very first blockchain that is selected at the top, where you can see from, you see post chain. So, post chain was automatically selected for me, and the uh, blockchain at the bottom which is Ethereum so this simply means that I'm going to be bridging from post chain to Ethereum now in case you are bridging from Ethereum to post chain all you need to do is you click on the two arrows pointing up and down if you look where you see Ethereum logo you are going to see two small arrows in pink so once you click on that it automatically asks you to switch network so once you switch network if you click on switch network it's going to move the Ethereum to the upper side, which means you are going to be bridging from Ethereum to post chain. If you click on it again, it's going to switch post chain to Ethereum. With that, it enables you to bridge from Ethereum to post chain or to bridge from post chain to Ethereum. Currently, you can only bridge from post chain to Ethereum. You can bridge from post chain to maybe Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, or any other blockchain, I believe other blockchain will be added to this bridge over time. Remember that post chain is quite very new and a lot of development is still ongoing. So I'm going to be bridging this Ethereum to Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet. So I'm bridging my Ethereum from post chain to Ethereum on Ethereum blockchain. So I need to select Max. Once I select Max, you can see send just got highlighted so the send button just got highlighted which is the pink button at the bottom once you click on it it shows you this confirmation page so it shows you are sending ethereum to ethereum blockchain once i click on send it's going to pop up a gas fee confirmation page so i will just confirm this transaction by clicking on confirm and wait patiently so you can see waiting for block finalization so I'm going to wait patiently for my Ethereum to be bridged from post chain to Ethereum mainnet. This can actually take up to 30 minutes. So you don't need to be in a haste. Just wait patiently, okay? It's going to happen shortly. So I'm going to pause this video. Once it's completed, I will let you know. But this is just the process. So all I need to do is to sit and wait patiently for my coins to be bridged from post chain to ethereum blockchain so once the bridging is done the next thing you need to do is to click on the menu icon at the top right once you click on it you see transactions and you click on transactions it loads up you are going to see your transaction waiting for you to claim 
you click on claim the blue button this is going to ask you to switch the network you switch network to ethereum then you wait patiently it's going to ask you for confirmation of transaction and you click on confirm all right if you pay attention you can see claimed okay it it just wrote claimed so congratulations you've actually claimed your tokens that you've breached from the pause chain to ethereum network congratulations and vice versa if you equally want to bridge back you go to the pause chain bridge again it's self-explanatory okay so this is the wrap ethereum i have here if i want to bridge it to the post chain again i could actually do the same so this time around i'm bridging from the ethereum network to post chain so i'll click on max okay and click on send just like when we did that on the post chain so you click on authorize to assess bridge so you can see that the estimated gas fee here is three dollars so i'll click on approve so wait patiently for the transaction then you click on send it's going to ask for another gas fee this time around you can see that the gas fee is asking here is 16 dollars so you click on approve again on confirm you click on the confirm button at the bottom so the bridging is going to be taking uh it's going to be on progress right now so this is exactly how to bridge from the pulse chain to the ethereum blockchain or from the ethereum blockchain to the pulse chain so let's say you bought ethereum and you want to bridge those ethereum to the pulse chain that is how to do it so you make sure that when you are bridging that you have enough ethereum to pay the gas fee and when you are bridging from the pulse chain to ethereum that you have enough pls to pay for your gas fees and that is how simple it is so once you are done you can see that the two transactions here are showing claimed okay that is how simple it is so if we go back to the bridge again you can actually switch networks okay so that we can be able to see what we've done so far and you can see i don't have post x again but i have wrapped it so with this wrapped it i can easily trade it back to pls okay so i could actually go to app dot pulse x dot com so that is the official decentralized exchange of pulse chain so all i want to do is to trade back my ethereum to plx okay so in this case I'll be trading back my Ethereum to PLX. Okay, so the Ethereum I have here is 0 0.024. Okay, which will be giving me roughly 200,000. Okay, I think it's not up to, so I could make it 0 0.023. Good, so I can enable this Ethereum. Now, you are going to be prompted to enable a transaction or to enable a coin if that is the very first time you are swapping it in this decentralized exchange, similar to PancakeSwap and Uniswap. So, I wait patiently for my wrapped ETH to be enabled. 
good you can see transaction receipts and automatically the swap button just came live so i'll just click on swap then confirm and i will approve the gas fee I wait patiently for the gas fee to be estimated, which is going to cost me 1389 PLX. So I will click on confirm. So my transaction has actually been submitted. So let's check. If I go back, let me check how many PLX I have. Okay, the transaction is still going and you can see that the transaction shows uh, submitted but not confirmed yet. So I could actually wait patiently for this. Boom. You can see. I have automatically changed back my wrapped it to PLX. So I hope this video is going to help you learn how to use the post bridge, how to bridge from Pulse chain to Ethereum and how to bridge from Ethereum to Pulse chain, and that is how simple it is. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell, and like this video, guys. Smash that like button. Also, if you have any question concerning this video or any suggestion, don't hesitate to use the comment section, and I promise I will answer every single question or every single suggestion you use the comment session to give